Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and dad. And your boy, Stanley. All right, Queen Sugar, come, what's it, come clad in peace? Yeah. So, let's do the YouTube thing if you're not a subscriber, which means that you're on a Indeed. family member, which means you're intruding on the uh, family reunion. Did you? What did you bring? Name brand sodas or generic sodas? Yeah. That will let you know whether or not you're a family member or not. But no, for real, hit that subscribe button. You're already over here. You might as well. It's free might right now. Well, yeah. It's going up soon. The trial is going to be <laughs> over soon. <laughs> um, go ahead and rate the video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Doesn't even matter because you've already been counting. You're already here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this one in here because most YouTubers be saying that. Now, go ahead and share my videos on all your major platforms and all that. Yeah. Moves. yeah. Let everybody know about us. Yeah. You know, we trying to get it how uh, we live. Or like, um, what you call it on um, Pump Chasers, uh, what her name is? Uh, God, Chris know. Jones. Chris Jones said, if you so happen to give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this episode right here, it didn't give us a lot, but it gave us a lot. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Powerful, powerful wisdom tonight. So we started off where um, Prosper is supposed to be moving out. Mm -hmm. Charlie came over there and she quickly realized that Prosper isn't packing up skit. Like, there's nah. a few things here and there that has disappeared. But for the most part, that house is in full tact. Mm -hmm. And she's asking him, she's like, wait a minute, you know, what about your daughter? Is she coming down to see about you? What's going on? And that's been a question of mine for forever. Where is Prosper's people? Yeah. You know, I know he's at an age where most of the people that are before him probably have passed Gone. on. Yeah. But he has a daughter, and we haven't seen her. He talks about her, mm -hmm. but never seen her. So, Charlie realized at this moment, look. I'm going to go ahead and take this into my own hands. He was going to go and eat brunch with Vi. So then we see, you know, the gang get together. Vi, I mean, not Vi. Um, Charlie, Nova, and, and Rob. Rob. They're over there. You know, they, you know, packing up his stuff. You know, they having moments. You know, they're mm -hmm. seeing pictures of their dad. And yeah. told Rob, like, look at you. You look, look just, just like your daddy. You know, <laughs> mannerisms and all. You know, just going down memory lane. And Nova you know, spoke to Charlie about the EPA. She said mm -hmm. she got somebody to look into it. And it seems like the whole EPA thing is checking, checking out. out. Mm -hmm. Where later we found out that it only checks out because there's someone on the inside making it look like something's wrong with their soil. Which I figured that. So that the government and the Landry's can do what they want to do to build this exactly. private jail. Mm -hmm. So later on in the episode, I'm moving way forward so we can get all those parts out the way. Look, this is the time when you call on the ancestors and everybody that, that went on before you that got the real power, the wonder working power is in the yeah. blood of the lamb. And she went out there to the field with her sage and she went ahead and did a ritual of cleansing and protecting over this land because what mm -hmm. we're not going to do is come this far by faith, hard work, labor, and people's lives. And then lose all of it. Yeah. And to lose all of this yeah. because you want to build a private jail on something that don't belong to you. So you can make some more money. Uh-uh. So this is what yeah. the, this ain't what we're gonna do. But while we, they were at the house um packing up, you know, Ra had mentioned that hey, I got to go talk to uh, Dollar a little later on because we need to talk about, you know, how we're gonna go ahead and split this custody of Blue and how we're gonna make sure that we're on the schedule and da 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 da. And this is when Charlie's wisdom came in and she said, you know what, Ra? Basically she told Ra that's a good thing. Yeah. But what you need to do is Stick to the schedule. Don't defer from it and keep your emotions, emotions out of it. Which I know that's tough for him because he always up in his feelings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when he get his feelings, he start talking real low. <laughs> but he received it because he know that his sister is going, going through, through that same exact thing. same thing. So she's yeah. not talking from a place of judgment or nothing. She's talking about this is where I am. And this is what I have to deal with. Yeah, and I wanted to backtrack and, and say this about Prosper as wise as he is because you know he's been around for a while he is a very prideful man aren't they all and, in that age group you know he knowing that all this is going on but he didn't want no help none see he he's so used to always helping somebody else out he don't know how to receive and i know i've been there that you so used to always helping everybody else in the crunch and being the backbone, which we saw last week, he was the backbone for their father. Mm -hmm. They're talking him off the ledge so he won't shoot himself. So pretty much that let me know the type of person he was. So when it come time for him to need help, can't do it. He can't ask nobody because he's too used to giving. And, and he'll go down in the dirt yeah. with that. And that can kill you. Mm -hmm. Which almost killed 
um, knows them dad because he shelved everything on his own on his own shoulders and didn't want to get no help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, go back to uh, what you learned last week that over functioning. Yeah. Yeah. Over functioning. I yeah. learned last week that I was over functioning. Yeah. So um, fast forwarding a little bit <laughs> after um, Prosper had went and had his brunch with our vibe. See, our vibe had read him his rights when he went over there and had brunch with her. She was like, you know, so I know that the time has come for you to move out of your house. How was that going? And he said, respectfully, I can handle my own business. I'm good. But Vi knew that that was bullshit. Yeah. So yeah. she said, okay, but if you can't handle your own business, you, you will let me, me know, know, right? He didn't say anything. She said, you know what? We've been friends too, too long. 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 Yep. You are family. So basically, yeah. look, if you don't have yourself, we got you. Yeah. But you need to open up your mouth and you need to say something. Well, we know that Press was never going to say anything. Nah. And then he could have had some instances where he actually had received from somebody and then they hold it against them. Uh -huh. You know, because you yeah. know sometimes you do you, you let people do something for you, and, you and then it's a then it's a tits for tats. You know, you remember when you know I gave you that five dollars. You remember when I helped you with that house? Mm -hmm. But this whole time they try to manipulate you to get you to do something that they want you to do. So they never intended to help you just to help you, but they intended to help you so, so that they can example. manipulate you later. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a lesson within itself. Be careful of who you take stuff from. Yeah. Because every from good everybody. gift is not a good God doing gift. Nah. Uh -uh. You have to really, really have your discernment hat on when you start taking stuff from people. Yeah. Look at on um, um, having the have nots. Veronica pray on people that need help so and that she can come back later to collect. Mm -hmm. Or oh, get some dangling. And well. Collect. <laughs> <laughs> so then we see Prosper. He ended up going back home after the brunch. And Charlie let him know, listen, we packed up all your stuff. We got the boxes um, stacked up. They go to storage. We got this amount of stuff right here so that when your daughter comes, she can take that with you. And da 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 da. Prosper said, <sighs> She ain't coming. About that. She not coming. And she, I'm like, I, he, he done called her off. So are they in a strange relationship? Like, are they even speaking? Because this is oh, weird mm -hmm. that a daughter and a son, I mean, a daughter and a father aren't speaking. I mean, that she's not really there like that. You know but, what I mean? But then again, we but don't do know he, what. Do she know? Yeah, she probably, he probably not telling her everything. If he's told her anything. He probably <laughs> told her, well, I got to move out my house for a matter of week for so, then uh -huh, I'm, I'm going to be I got fine. Two roaches. And he talking about he going to go and rent a room. Man, you can't rent no room. You ain't got no money to rent no room, Prosper. Oh, he got some money. You think he got some money? Well, he ain't got no money for no room. He got money for a room. No. But he gonna spend his last dime on a room That's what I'm with talking a bunch about. of crackheads. That's what I'm talking about. So he gonna end up putting himself in, in a, a, worse, a worse state of situation because he wasn't about to help. So, um, of course, Charlotte, she was like, uh-uh. Mm -mm. This ain't about to happen. No. I'm gonna sit right here in this chair and I'm not leaving here without you. I have plenty of room in my house and you gonna come to my house. And she just sat there and she went back in that chair and mm -hmm. just looked at him like, and what? Uh huh. And so he now, was pissed. He said, stubborn just like, like you. your father. Dad. She said, she said thank, thank you. you. But now he done found somebody just as stubborn as he is. So he ended up <laughs> going over to the house and it was so cute. Yeah. Because when he got into Charlie's house, like he really His had. His mind was blown. He had a moment like. Wow. And you could see every range of emotion that that man was going through. Mm -hmm. He don't reach this part of his life. Yeah. And he has to come and stay with someone. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to be there. No. Everything that they have in this home is something that he's probably never, never seen. Never seen or never dreamed of. Of even having. So now he's placed in the middle of this. Mm -hmm. He's uncomfortable. Um, what the name is? What's the son's name? Oh, um. Micah. Micah. When he got there, he had his friends over. And they was, you know, he kind of. He probably kind of it felt like he was intruding. Yeah, because they left when he because they he left came. when he came. You know, they talking about rap music. He said, "I don't know uh, about it, but two Tupac and Biggie." <laughs> Prosper, let me let you, Prosper, let me tell you a secret. Me neither. Uh -huh. I don't I don't recognize none of them so except they, for Lil they, Wayne. They, they, <laughs> in my eyes, they one of the two best rappers that ever walked this earth. Mm hmm. So we ain't even gonna go. Yeah. Faith Evans, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, we ain't even gonna go over there. We're not gonna go there. We're gonna say that for another day, another dollar. So, you know, Charlie is trying to make him as comfortable as as possible. Mm -hmm. She's getting his stuff, his rocking chairs, and I mean his arm um, recliner, all that. She's bringing that into the house and whatnot. 
you know, Micah showing him, you know, here's the remote to the boobs. This is the for the subwoofers. Uh -huh. This is he's, he's like, I don't care nothing about all that. Just put it on channel three for <laughs> so I can watch my westerns. <laughs> It's a giving him the codes to the house. I said he gonna set every alarm off in that house. But like in, when my mama moved here, she set the alarm off the day. Yeah, she did. <laughs> but in proper defense, anytime you go to somebody else's house and they quote unquote have stuff a little bit nicer or a whole lot nicer mm -hmm. than yours, you don't know how to function. No, you like I don't you like do that. I do I test this? Do I test? Do I walk in? Do I take my shoes off? What what, what do I do? Because you have you haven't had stuff like that. And you don't want to offend them. Yeah, you don't want to offend them, and you don't want to mess up their nice stuff because you'd be like, I can't afford to pay for this if I mess I'm it up. I'm already staying here with you, <laughs> yeah. so how am I gonna afford it? No, I'm just talking about just visiting the house, just visiting. Not now, he got a lid in. So yeah, that's a, a lot to take in, man. Yeah, at his, especially at his age. Especially at his age. So, who I want to go to next? We go to Ralph Angel. Ralph Angel ends up going over to Darla's house and they're going to work on this plan of how they're going to split the time, you know, have blue split the time between him mm -hmm. and her and whatnot. Ralph Angel was actually able to see Darla's home and immediately he got a little jealous. He really yeah, did. Yeah. He was like, mm -hmm. hold on, wait a minute. You just came into town sh straight off the block. Let me stop. Um, <laughs> and you, came out, you came out here, you got you a good job nice place and then when she showed him blue's room he really was in his feels because you yeah. know blue loves the earth and all that good stuff uh -huh. and she i mean she did his room really really, really nicely really well nice. her and blue did the room really really nicely and ralph angel was like yeah we supposed we'll to be doing, doing something like, like this, this too. and da 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 so i said okay ralph angel what we're not gonna do you we're not gonna start comparing households nah. and all of that because yeah mama money daddy boy loan money Two yeah, different kind of different, money. Yeah, you can't compare. So then they ended up getting into, okay, I feel like we should have a 50-50 split. Now, this is Darla saying it. In time, Ralph Angel said, I ain't got no problem with all the other stuff that we agreed on. But this 50-50 split, you need to take it slow. it's too slow. And I do agree with him. Yeah, with it needs that. to be taken slow. Yeah, because you just, you just coming back in the picture. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this boy's in school. I mean, one week he on the bus over here. One week, I mean, it's, just, it's a lot. And then what's going through his head, too? I know he said, I don't know if you might lose your job. That is a big factor. But not trying to say nothing negative about her, but what if she decides to relapse? I and think, I don't think there? she will. I don't think she will, but all that, you know, he don't, she don't relapsed on him multiple times. So it's like, he still ain't got past that. So it's like, all of a sudden, now that her life is together, she want everybody else to pretty much um, march that, uh, at her drum beat. And she want everything her way. And, and, and you know, you can't do this. Ain't Burger King. You can't have it your way. You can't have your way at the moment. So he said, no, let's take it slow. And she was like, yeah. well, how slow? He really didn't have an answer to that. He said weekends. He said you get them oh, on yeah, weekends. Oh, yeah, weekends. You get them on weekends. Which I think is fair. That's good. Sure that's, enough. Yeah, there's two, four, six, and then you can build from yeah, there. That's eight days a month. Yeah, because you really don't know how Blue's going to adjust to that either. So yeah, he might not even like that. So she wasn't feeling that, and then they got on the whole what they argued about before. <laughs> you know, you really need to tell me who's around my child because they went on about the keys. You still got keys in my spot. I think I should have keys in your spot. You know, just in case. You know, you're not home when we get here. We can go ahead and let ourselves in. And that was cool. Yeah. I said, okay, go ahead and co-parent. Uh -huh. And then the argument came. And you need to let me know who's going to be around my child. This, that, the third. And I agree. Said this guy, Benny. And he said, oh, so we're going to talk about Trent? She was like, her too. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, okay, where are we going with this? Basically the same argument. What I don't want is I don't want them to end up in the courts. Nah. That's what I don't want. Uh-uh. Just figure this god darn thing out. Because what's going to end up happening is going to make it harder on Rye. And he already got enough stuff on himself already. Yeah. He don't need no child support. <laughs> he do not need no child support. And especially for a child that is not his. Yeah. By DNA purposes. So, Unvi. I'm going I'm to revisit Ra in a minute. Unvi, she goes over there to um, Mr. Rollins. Because she tried to prep herself for the speech that she's trying to give. Now, this is what's getting on my nerves about Aunt Vi, And I love me some Aunt Vi. I love her. Love her, love her, love her. But what I don't understand about her. And I was watching um, My Twisted Life with Poetry. If y'all not subscribed to her, y'all really should be. Yeah. Um, 
she was saying, I I need some God doing therapy. And I so agree. She do. Mm -hmm. In her mind, she's in, she has the set, mindset of a slave. She really, really does. And we talked about Hannah from mm -hmm. the love of my mom. What is it? Have, have, not. Have, not. Mm -hmm. I girl say love and hip hop. <laughs> But maybe she need to be on Aunt there. Vi is the exact same way. Mm -hmm. She has this thing about people owning her, yeah. people being over her. She knows she don't want to answer to this one and that one. Yeah. But yet you have a man that loves you down. Yeah. I mean, loves your dirty drawers and will give you the money. So do you to have to so give you, you, to give yeah. you the life? That, that you, you want, want uh -huh. to give you the business that you want. And he ain't even married to you yet. He and wants nothing in return. Nope. You won't even take his name because you don't want anybody on you. But you're begging this man. Yeah. To yeah. do a fair split with you. Uh-huh. Or give you, give you a brick and mortar. What? Yeah. And you don't have to beg. You got it. Yeah, you don't have to beg. It's in your house. You don't yeah. have to beg this man. Now, I told y'all last week that what he was offering was fair. Yeah, we all was With fair. the exception that she owns her recipes and whatever happens, she owns those forever. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I forgot to put that part in there because somebody had said that to us. So, yep, forever. Forever, yeah. yeah. Know a certain time and then ownership goes to him. Yeah, and then later yeah. on, y'all could go ahead and, you know, renegotiate this term, you know, once... He's gotten out of it what he put in. Now maybe we can split fifty fifty because now we're equal partners. But now, no. now I'm like, if you don't want to take um uh, Hollywood's money, do his split, bake the money, put some of the money to the side for your brick and mortar, and build your own brick and mortar. Why pitch it at him? But it's it's But you're not you don't want anybody to own you, yeah. but you're not satisfied unless someone owns you. Yeah. Cause you still asking for somebody for something. Yeah. Just so you can feel like you're in control of something. Hmm. Right. Anywho. So she goes over there and she tries to pitch her idea to uh, Mr. Rollins about the store. I mean, about the pie shop. But she can't even get the pitch out because she's having an episode. Yeah. And I said, oh, here we go with these episodes again. Y'all yeah, going to make something happen to I know, I know that, that anxiety probably was sent there. Yeah, stress, all of that. Yeah, trying to pitch that. So this one, she couldn't really bounce back from. Usually she can, you know, bring herself back around and she can, you know, complete the task at hand. But not this time. Uh -huh. She actually had to get Mr. Rollins to take her home. So when he took her home, she was straight up with him. She said, you know what, Mr. Rollins? Before we go any further, because he started talking about we need to get crack a lack in. Because the investors, investors are excited. They ready to go. When he said investors, I said, wait a minute, Mr. Rollins. When these investors get involved, don't oh, yeah. make me take back what I see. Now, he's a smart businessman. But he is a smart businessman. Yeah, he going to use You already going to have some solid investors now. Yeah. So, she went ahead and told him that, you know, I've been diagnosed with lupus. Mm -hmm. I have good days and I have bad days. But I will promise you this. My bad, even on my bad day, I'm going to perform. It's not going to do anything to business. I'm going to be able to handle said, my business at man. hand. And she wanted to continue with her spill. And Mr. Rollins said, you know, at this point, I just need you to get well. And I said, because she was like, she no, shouldn't you have told him that. She said, no, no, you said that, you know, they were they excited. He said, he said, they'll be all right. Mm. I said, oh, man. So did you just shoot yourself in your own yeah, foot? Yeah, kind of, it might he, be good for you. Yeah, it might be. Teach you a lesson. Because you go, but if he take that, if, in other words, he gonna have to take the information back to the investors. Because the reason what's gonna end up happening is that he gonna feel like the investors gonna feel like they got deceived if on Vi was to start this business and then all of a sudden she died, which we don't want to happen. And that's their money. Yeah, for real. For real. <clears throat> that's their money. And yeah, that could be a, a nightmare. So um, um for for him and the investors. Yeah. So Micah and his friends. Michael, you know, he's into the photography thing. So he actually has some prints of when they went to that plantation. So they started looking at the pictures and it, it's, a, you know, it's always different when you look at stuff in print. Yeah, it was very and, disturbing. And they it was taking, very disturbing. And they're taking selfies. Like taking it as a photo op. Like, like this oh, is a look. Joke. This uh -huh. is a joke. You know, I hate to even see that like on Facebook and stuff where people go to like the Black uh, Museum and DC and all of that. The, um... What is it? The historical stuff. I hate to see it because it's almost like you do not understand what yeah. this was all about. Mm -hmm. And this is what they're saying. You know, they make, you know, selfies, doing this, doing, doing that. They're making and, money off our history and yeah. And 
I mean, it's disrespectful. Mm -hmm. So they said, okay, what we gonna do, we gonna go up in there and we gonna represent and we gonna make some noise. And what they wanna do is go ahead and tag every slave's name that lived on that plantation or worked on that plantation mm -hmm. and show them that what black history really does look like. But they already know that they stand a chance of getting locked okay. up. So the plan is you're gonna have this one doing this, this one doing that. And Michael already is having flashbacks because he's already been, been to jail. Innocent. Yeah, so he knows what it's all about. And he knows once he gets under their control, they can do whatever the buck they yeah. wanna do to exactly. him. Exactly. And he really, you can tell he's kind of like, uh, I don't want to do it, but I'm, I, I'm going to do it. But I'm going to do it. And I said, I hope this, this, because we, we already but, said it. But like I said, they, they, the kids have good intentions, but I, like I said again, they need some good leadership. Yeah. Because I would tell them, no, that ain't the way of going about doing it. That ain't going to change nothing. And you're going to feed right into what they want you. They want to yeah. mess your record up so uh -huh. you can forever be in the system. Because if they find out that y'all did it, they're going to put you in jail as long as they can. And then you ain't going to definitely have no voice then. Uh -uh. So, sometimes you got to be smarter about this thing. Yeah, I'll be like, try to figure out how to get them out of business. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to do. The research to find out if they're doing it correctly as far as business. It's how you can stop people from going and supporting it mm -hmm. to put them out of business. Yeah. That's what you could possibly do. So, Ralph Angel, he goes over there. Well, no. Back up. Ralph Angel is really in his feelings about this whole, um, yeah, yeah. This whole room. Uh-huh. He's feeling like, because him and Dollar had the argument about, you came into town, and now you got a nice house, nice car, da 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 da. Basically, so you think you're better than me? You think you can provide better than me? <laughs> da, da da I mean, they went back and forth, back and forth. So now Ralph is in his feelings, and he goes back home. Well, actually, he stopped by and saw Trent first, and he treated her all kinds of rude. And she was like, well, basically, I'll what do. I do? I had fun at your own party. You know, when I get her age, I would like to be, you know, bouncing around like she is. He okay, like, whatever. <laughs> I'm just here to get my check. Um, he gets over there to the house and he's drinking some Henny straight out the bottle. Mm -hmm. And Nova comes in. He's sitting in Blue's room. And Nova was like, uh, Raphael said, I don't want to talk, talk about, about it. it. She said, give me that bottle and me neither. So both of them going through it. You know, they're having conversations and whatnot. And Ralph Angel told her, said, listen, I need to go ahead and pick up some more shifts. I need to go ahead and do better. You know, I need to do this. You know, so he, he's compared. Yeah, get, I can fix up Blue's room. Get some more furniture done. Yeah. And she was like, where is this coming from? She was like, Blue don't need all that. He a kid. See, all, he, all he care about is being with you, which is true. Uh -huh. Which is so true. And she was like, the stuff you have in here is nice. You just need to scrub it down. Like I said, scrub it down and paint them goddamn walls and mm -hmm. bring some life into that house. Yeah, because what he got to realize is that um, Dollar is overcompensating for the time she ain't been there. So that's why she going all out like that, getting new furniture, painting, and all that kind of stuff. But she's overcompensating. You been there. So Dollar Red got on Ralph Angel. I said, oh. Because he got on this thing about, so your mama brought this, your parents brought this, and da-da-da-da. What you know about hard work and struggle. You, you, you basically, you, you, you were born into this. She said, so the house that you lived in, that you live in right now, did you buy it? Did you work hard for it? <laughs> Didn't your daddy give you that? And he was like... It's like, dang, bro. I said she got you. He got had a you. good point, but he should have never brought the house into nope, it. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> so, I think that Nova got through to him and told him, said, listen. Yeah. If you're trying to be like daddy, being like daddy almost killed Kill. daddy. Uh-huh. And he was like, what are you talking what about? What you talking about? So, yeah. she went ahead and told him about, you know, the conversation that she had with Prosper. And Prosper was saying, I hope I haven't been calling him Proctor the whole time. Because for some reason, I've been. No, you've been calling him okay. Proctor. Because I'll get ready to call it Proctor just now. <laughs> and talking about how daddy, it got too much. And he thought about killing himself. And Prosper was able to talk him off the ledge. And, you know, get him back to regroup. And I don't want that for you. You have a whole squad of us that can, that can carry you. the load yeah. when it gets heavy. But you need to reach out and tell us when you need help. Don't uh -huh. go out there and get no more shifts. Get no more shifts. And killing yourself. No, you need to be around for your son. Yeah, so Ra, stay the course. 
And I think that speaks to all of us. Yeah. I don't care if you got a solid plan, a goal you trying to reach. I don't care what nobody else got going on. May look like they moving faster than you, got more than you. You stay your course. Your course. Your course. Because you don't know what they going through on their course. And they could be faking. Exactly. Because a whole lot of people be fronting on Facebook and Instagram doing pictures of stuff of cars and money and, and all this all this turn up stuff like they got it going on and they uh -huh. and they ain't got two like the old people say they ain't got two nickels to rub together. Mm -hmm. They float and you hating on them on something they ain't even got. Mm -mm. Cause they don't showed you an image of something that that made you feel a little something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and don't it's compare all, yourself and it could to nobody. Fake. It's, it, could be real fake. It, it gets tough, but don't compare yourself to nobody. Mm -hmm. Stay your course. Be yourself. Do you? Yep. So Ron goes over there and talked to Trim because the mama had already told Trent that Rob wanted to pick up extra shifts and he got his check and everything. And he basically made up to um, with her mm -hmm. and, you know, without words, letting her know, look, I was tripping. But Blue yeah. like you, though. So they're going to continue doing whatever they're doing. Yeah. So it wasn't a lot going on, but it was a lot to think about. Yeah. And I will say this because I can say this. Is my mama here? No, she ain't got here yet. Oh, because I didn't want to talk about her. Wish she could hear me. Um... <laughs> Sometimes you get to a point in your life where, and I'm not saying this for Prosper, because Prosper did the best that he could. Yeah. But some people get to a point in their life where they do whatever the heck they want to do, when they feel like doing, they get to the end of their lives, and they realize, I did not, I didn't make anything solid mm -hmm. for the rest of my life. Look how easy it was for these people to come in and put this man out of his home at 70 yeah, some years, years old. old. Uh -huh. And want nothing he can do about it. Come on now. And if yeah. he didn't have a Charlie in his life, mm. where would he really be? You know yeah. what I mean? So if you have some people that's older in your life, and even speaking to people that's our age, don't get caught up in all that crazy stuff. Yeah. Make sure your future is solid. Yeah. And I ain't saying if something happened to me tomorrow that everything is solid. But it show is on the way. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and I'm going to say this in closing like the preachers say. In <laughs> closing? I don't, yeah, I don't know if you got no more closing statements. I don't. But once again, here's Charlie coming to the rescue. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Too up. Too down. Get you a Charlie. No. Let her, let her rest. <laughs> Go. <laughs>